sexy for this chain Too sexy for your game Too sexy for this chain Hey my babies and welcome back to another video Period If you are new here make sure you like comment, and subscribe To become one of my new babies today Today Period Hey y'all welcome back to my channel If somebody asked for this video And I'm gonna pop it up on the bottom of the screen So she asked for this video And I promised her That I was going to post it Or record it Or whatever By the end of the month So that's what we're doing today so basically in today's video i'm just doing like you know just letting y'all know some things to do to boost your confidence or just how to be confident in general people are different you know and it takes time to be confident get some notes i put notes i put notes you know but i didn't put this in the notes but it just came up to my mind like your confidence also has something to do with like the people that you bring around you. Like it's a lot of stuff that I was like insecure about. You know, I didn't really speak on my insecurities and that's one thing to like, you know, boost your confidence and stuff like that. Never speak on your insecurities to people, you know, unless you really love them or really trust them like your parents, if you have that relationship, because not everybody do. But your parents or the boyfriend, girlfriend, whoever, you know, certain people you know who to tell your insecurities and stuff to. The people that you know, not going to use it against you. Anyway, it has a lot to do with like the people that you hang around. Not really like hang around, but people that's close to you. Like you don't want to hang around with somebody who's always talking about you. Even if it's to your faith behind your back, whichever one. Talking about you in general, period, point blank. If it make you feel like, or if, you make, if it make you feel less or if it makes you feel like nobody or if it hurts your feelings, they're not good. Trash them. ASAP. Because, no. Be around the people that's going to help you boost your confidence, not the people that's going to break it down. So, that's just one thing that I wanted to put out there. Now I'm going to get into my notes. First thing, like I said, speak positive things about yourself. Speak positivity. I look pretty today. I look good today. I feel good today. Stuff like that. And another thing, like, when you speak, you know, positive things about yourself, other people will speak positive things about you, too. So, the next one is think positive thoughts. I mean, I ain't really got to explain that. I feel like that explains itself. You know, don't be out here being negative nasty. The next one is to have self-care days. Have your self-care days where it's like, you go get your hair done, go get your nails done, go get your feet done, maybe a little massage, go to the beach, you know, chill. Or if you don't go to the beach walk around your neighborhood or walk around maybe go to the mall shop a little bit you know do something that's like about you you're not hanging out with friends all day like learn to be by yourself as well like that's basically it take a self-care day by yourself the friends and stuff can be draining sometimes and that shit get annoying be by yourself learn yourself next is never compare yourself to others that be my favorite line when people say y'all who is y'all? Don't put me in that category. I'm my own category. Period. My name is Najee, bitch. But anyway, never compare yourself to others. At the end of the day, y'all life is not the same. You and that person's life are not the same. So don't compare it. If anything, to boost your confidence, think that they beneath you. Okay? Yeah. Do one of them. You know? Because that, that just puts you up there. They might think that you're being cocky or whatever. Or should I say like think they're beneath you but don't treat them as such you know so don't treat them like you feel like they're beneath you just think it and you know carry yourself as that but don't treat them like it okay next is tell yourself you're pretty tell yourself you're beautiful you're gorgeous you look nice tell yourself that because people is like honestly you don't nobody really tells you that you're pretty every day all day unless you're dressing up or you're posting something on instagram twitter snapchat whichever nobody really compliments you unless you're posting something or you know putting yourself out there so you gotta look in the mirror every day you gotta look in the mirror basically to brush your teeth wash your face you gotta look in the mirror when you're getting dressed at those moments tell yourself that you look good that you look pretty you know i'll be quick ass fat i'm cute i'm famous for doing all of that and i don't need nobody to tell me like you telling me make me feel good but in my head, I already know. Next one is wear stuff to make you feel slash look good. So when I say look good, I don't mean like, 
you know, when people look at you, they think like you being a little thought. No, I mean like wear stuff that makes you feel good, look good. You can be in sweatpants and a big t-shirt and still feel good or look good. You don't have to be in like half naked shit to look good or feel good. Like you can be fully clothed from head to toe and still feel good and look good. Basically, if you look good, it'll help you feel good. Next is don't wear makeup every day. You don't need makeup to look good. You don't need makeup to feel good. You don't need makeup to please anybody or none of that. I know it's a lot of people that do it just be because they enjoy doing it and I understand that. But I feel like, and me and my assistant manager had this conversation earlier today, like when you do a lot of makeup, it's like that moment that you take it off and like you go out in public. So wait, let me just do it like this, okay. So say you wear makeup every day, right? And that one day you don't have time to wear makeup or you out and you forget your makeup at home, whichever one, right? Just say that something happens and you don't have makeup to put on. So you have to go out in public with no makeup. If you go out in public with no makeup and you don't feel like yourself or you don't feel like you're pretty, there's a problem. And you need to get that together because your natural skin is always gonna be beautiful. Frequent blank. It doesn't matter what it look like, acne and all, face look good. Per to be confident, you have to be confident and feel good in your skin. Not behind a fucking face cake of fucking makeup. Don't get me wrong. People be looking pretty with they make with they face all done. Sometimes I'll be like, I'm gonna do makeup one time, you know. But if you're not comfortable in the face that you have with no makeup, then it's a problem. Having, being able to walk out the house and having, you know, no makeup on, you still feel like a bad bitch. Even me with like, without lashes, I'd be like, you know what, fuck it, bitch. And I still look cute and bitch, who the fuck gonna check me? I have that energy. That's the energy that you want to have. And that's just how you know that you're confident. What you can do is like, I would say probably like, if you are if you are somebody who wears like a lot of makeup or makeup every day and stuff like that, I would say give yourself like a week of no makeup. I give it like a week or maybe two. Do no makeup. No makeup. You can do lashes because, you know, lashes is nothing, you know, especially if you get like lash extensions. It's not that easy. Like for me, I can just fucking peel these bitches off but if you get lash extensions it's kind of like you kind of just paid all that money so i wouldn't say you know re remove your lashes or whatever but just do like no makeup like nothing no concealer no highlight no foundation don't do none of that for about a week or two and that'll boost your confidence great next one is stay true to yourself when I say that, I mean like, don't be a kiss ass. Don't play monkey see, monkey do. Be your own person, be true to yourself, be honest with yourself. Like each and every day I wake up and I like tell myself like, not even that I tell myself, bitch, I'm honest with myself. It's a lot of shit, I'm not gonna speak on it on camera, but is it? it is a lot of shit that I do and I go through and I say, you know, and I do. It's a lot of stuff, you know? So one thing I can say is my patience. My patience are very low. If it's not moving, the way I needed to move, we got a problem, okay? But I recognized it and I announced it when I need to, not really when I need to, but I just announced it to myself or to other people, like this is something that I'm working on and blah, 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 blah. I'm honest. And let me just let y'all know, people that you are like honest with like that, cause you know, sometimes you just have to be honest with certain people. But when you're honest like that with certain people, it helps them to better understand you. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, just be true to yourself. Be honest about yourself, to yourself, etc. Next is know yourself and own up to your flaws. That kind of goes like with like the last thing I just said. Like I said, I know that my patients are very low. So, I own up to having low patients. And I know how to deal with them when it comes to certain things. I'm still learning how to react, even though I'm like getting frustrated, but I know my issues and I know my flaws and I own up to them. I don't own it up to people, but I own it up to myself. Like when I'm in my room by myself like this, 
I own up to my shit. Like when I know I fucked up or I said something wrong or I should never did this or just little stuff. I own up to it. I let myself know like, Naja, you shouldn't have did that. You should never say that. Don't act like that. You need to work on that. Like I have that conversation with myself damn near 10 times a day. So, yeah. Next, don't depend on other people. And that kind of goes back to like, I think like the first thing that I said when I was saying that like not every day somebody's going to tell you you're pretty or that you look good today. Don't depend on like compliments all the time. However, when you do get compliments from somebody, still say thank you for your compliment or I appreciate it or you know, something like that. Don't be one of them bitches that be like, yeah, I know. That right there, I'm sorry, it takes your confidence like <laughs> down a few notches because I don't like shit like that. But anyway, back to what I was saying. Don't depend on people, you know, don't depend on other people to tell you that you're pretty. Don't depend on other people to give you compliments every day. When you're depending on people, it's like you're constantly doing something to depend on somebody. You're not really doing it, you know, genuinely or for yourself. You're doing it for the reaction of somebody else next thing is try new stuff okay try doing different shit don't do the same shit that makes you a boring bitch we don't like them okay try different stuff try stuff to make your heart beep out your chest a little bit you know pump out your chest a little bit you know because i feel like when you do stuff like that and it's like you know that you probably would have never done it before you probably said that you never done it but you still did it i just feel like it makes you like believe in yourself more and it makes you stronger so it boosts your confidence because it's like i did that shit period next is say no when you need to and when you like in your heart you feel like i should be saying no to this let me not say yes like that toxic ass boyfriend that you had and he asked him for another chance and you battling like should i or should i not he was toxic that's the first thing that should have popped up in your head like bitch you don't stress me out that right there just it just it boosts you up a little bit because it's like yeah bitch i got the motherfucking juice because if you think about it like if it was that situation right him on the other side of the phone probably would have been like did this bitch just tell me no and my response would have been hell yeah nigga i say that shit okay and last but not least say confidence affirmations every day every night you don't have to say them every day, every night. It just depends on you, you know? Like I said, me, I look in the mirror, like when I look in the mirror and I just did my hair or I just got dressed or I'm brushing my teeth, you know, little stuff when I'm just looking at myself in the mirror, that's when I tell myself, like, I'm pretty, you look good, get ass fat, you know? I do shit like that. That's when I do mine. I don't do mine every morning, every night, you know? I just do it when I see myself, when I feel good and stuff like that. So, just to give y'all, like, my two favorite affirmations, um, the first one is I'm proud of myself. That's something that I tell myself a lot. I've been telling myself a lot lately. When I do stuff where it's, like, I get nervous, like, am I going to be able to do this? Like, when I do it, I always tell myself I'm proud of myself. Like, I'm proud of you. That don't really be what I be saying. What I really be saying is, yeah, bitch, you fucking did that shit. But it's still, you know, it means, like, you know, I'm proud of myself, you know, so yeah that's the first one and the second one is i'm beautiful or i'm pretty or i am cute you know anything that's just gonna make you feel good you know so those are my two favorites <laughs> and yeah but that's gonna be the end y'all yeah so that's basically just how you become confident you know just be you but anyway y'all so with that being said i hope that you guys enjoyed make sure that you like comment subscribe make sure that you come back for more videos and we come back make sure you make a friend pretty because we lit always and y'all see you in my next video bye